We all enjoy playing D&D inside Foundry VTT, but sometimes things can be a bit too simple visually. So have you been looking for things to make it pop and make your players excited about how visually cool your game is? This is the video for you. I'm going to show you seven cool macros that are going to make your game visually very, very exciting. But there are some prerequisites, so we're going to go through those first. But hi, my name is Fondue. I give you Foundry VTT tips and tricks to make your games go to the next level and your players really appreciate what you, effort you're putting into your Foundry VTT games. So if that's something that you're interested in, plus daily D&D &D memes, hit that subscribe and like down there. But let's get on to those prerequisites I mentioned now. So these macros are from a wonderful person called Eskimo and their Discord server. So if you want to get even more of these cool visual macros, I'm going to put a link to their Discord server down into the description below. And to make these macros work, you're going to need to install the following modules on Foundry VTT. <laughs> GB2A Patreon Complete Collection. So, for these effects to properly work, you're going to need to subscribe to GB2A's Patreon. It doesn't cost too much, it's a couple of bucks per effect if I recall, so it's a very fair price. But you can make it work with the JB2A Free Collection, but you will have to manually go change some stuff, as you won't have access to all of the effects. Carrying on. You'll need the module called Sequencer, Warp Gate, Tagger, Jack Curax Animated Spell Effects, colon, Cartoon, Jack Curax Animated Effects Sequencer Plugin, Advanced Macros, FX Master, Monk's Active Tile Triggers, and Token Attacher. I will put a link to all of these modules in the description below. You will need to have all of these installed. Otherwise, you might run into issues of these macros not working properly and troubleshooting will be a pain in the butt. So make sure to install all of these and make sure that you activate the modules because you need to activate them after you install them, okay? Good. And I am running Foundry version 9. They should work in version 10, no problem. And uh, of course, this is D&D 5th edition system that we're using. With all of that out of the way, let me show you these really cool macros that Eskimo has made. Let's jump into it. All right, so we are now inside Foundry VTT. And as I mentioned, we're going to be using macros to pull off these effects. These macros are made by Eskimo, as I mentioned, link to their Discord down below. So let's zoom in so you can see what I'm talking about. Macros is this bar down here where you can add your own macro simply by clicking on any empty square and it will create a new macro for you. It'll pop up this window, you can name it, and you can add the command here. So you just copy paste the command uh, if, that you can find in the description below. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this one since it was just an example, but I'm going to show you some really cool macros that you can use to have some very fun effects. So first, we have Burning Hands. So if your player or your enemy is casting Burning Hands, and this actually works really well for Fire Breath as well, you just take this little Burning Hands macro, click on it, it's gonna ask you where the starting point is. So I'm gonna put it at my character here. Uh, oh, sorry, I need to target something, my bad. So this is one of the problems that you can run into. You have to remember to select tokens and target tokens. There we go. Boom! This very cool fire effect plays. Now, it doesn't have any gameplay implications. It doesn't do any damage. You'll have to roll for damage, etc. separately uh, beyond this. But it is a very cool visual that you can put there to literally make your games pop. Next, we got Fireball, the spell for wizards and sorcerers and warlocks. So we click on that, it's gonna give us an area. That is of course the fireball's area. So let's put it here for example. We see the fireball start and boom! Huge explosion in that area. Very cool, can get for some really intense, cool moments in your games. Next, we have fly. So if you have a character or you have an NPC that can fly, this is actually very useful for remembering that they are indeed flying, then this macro is for you, boom. They are now flying. Now the macro, I mean the, the token flipped around there a little bit, you'll notice. Uh, but other than that, they are indeed flying. We can actually rotate them like this. So the way I'm doing is I'm, I have the token selected and shift and scroll. So there, we can put them back like that. 
boom, they are now floating in the air. Very nice effect, very nice effect. Of course, now I want to make them come down at some point, right? And there's some of these effects that are gonna leave some effects lingering on the screen and you want to turn them off. So for that, there is a token reset macro. So technically there's eight macros in this, but I don't really count this one as it's more of a housekeeping thing. So you just click that and it resets the token and it removes all of those effects. Next, we have mirror image, the spell for protection. So you click that and it gives you a little window asking how many images are you going to have? Let's, uh, let's go with three, three images. So the enemy will have a hard time hitting us and then cast. And you see this cool effect and bam, now you have the main character there and three other images that are just hovering there. And if I move, then of course they move with me. Very nice, very handy. And again, I'll use the token reset to get rid of that. Then we have Misty Step, the spell to get out of a tough situation. So we want to cast that, we cast Misty Step. It is gonna give us the air, the range within which we can cast it. Let's, let's, let's go over here, for example. Teleport, boom, bam. How cool is that? How cool is that? Now, so now we're up here, we've teleported, but again, I do wanna remind that this does not consume spell slots. This does not apply any uh, effects or damage and stuff. It's purely visual, but it's still very, very cool. Then we got Rage. So we have a barbarian here. Let's turn him around and he's going to activate his Rage. So boom, we get a cool effect. The ground gets cracked and there's this lingering red rage effect. So now you know that the character is raging constantly. Very cool, very visual, like it a lot. And lastly, we have Thunder Step. So similar to Misty Step, but visually different. So again, we're gonna have an opportunity to go somewhere. Let's go, uh, let's go up here once again. And we see a cool lightning effect. We disappear, there's a crack and a thunder wave to do some damage to the enemies. But of course, it's purely visual. No damage has actually been done. And to get rid of those, we use the token reset and the, the cracks from the ground are gone. So there you have it, seven really cool macros that you can use to visually make your games pop. Now Eskimo Server has a bunch more macros than just that. These are the ones that I've been using in my games, but there are a ton of other macros that Eskimo has made. If you go to their Discord server and you go to the Foundry Macros channel, you can find the different macros there. I believe they are pinned to the channel, but again, you are going to need uh, the GB2A Patreon Complete Collection install, so you have to subscribe to their Patreon, which I think is more than worth it. And yeah, just do leave a kind kind note to Eskimo for putting together these wonderful macros. Let me know what you thought about these macros. Are you gonna use them? Do you wanna use them? You know, their descriptions, check it out. You can find them there, a link to them there. And if you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like and subscribe. That would very much help me. I would very much appreciate that. And, you know, I stream every Monday and Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern European Standard Time on twitch.tv slash funwithfondu, where you can come discuss all things D&D and tabletop role-playing games with me. That is twitch.tv slash funwithfondu. A follow there would be very much appreciated. And now on screen, you're gonna see another video of mine where I talk about a fantastic module for Foundry called GM Screen, a digital GM screen. It's fantastic. You should check it out. Keep it nice and easy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.